Hello, my friends. This is Adam from the Hoboken Public Library, bringing you another simple Lego machine build. So we've got Benny here. You might recognize Benny from the Lego Movie, Lego Movie 2, as well as the classic Space Line from the 1980s. We've got a little display for Benny here, but I think that we might be able to do a better job with his display. What do you think? Put Benny down over here, and we'll take this piece off, save this for later, that other piece we don't need, and let's get building. So, take this piece first, and we're going to assemble the, assemble the basic mechanism here. So put this small gear in here, we're going to thread this axle through until it starts turning that gear. So that's, that's good there. Now we're gonna take this four by two with holes in it. We're gonna put that right there. We're gonna take this small axle here and this small gear here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this axle in the gear so that the gear's teeth, this, this is the teeth of the gear right here, they're facing down. We're gonna take this axle and put it right through the middle hole in this piece, just like that. And now we're gonna take this whole thing and put it right here. So this is the basic mechanism in our machine today. Two axles, turn one, and it spins the other at 90 degrees. Very cool. Now. Let's see if we can complicate this a little bit, just for fun's sake. To put that down, now we're gonna make two of the same thing, because we're going to complicate our little mechanism here. We're gonna build a, little, a couple more gears to go along with it. Take these like this, and pop these on top here. Now we have two of the same. And now we're gonna to wanna to bring our whole mechanism up. The reason we're gonna do that is because if I put this gear on this mechanism, the gear's hanging off the bottom. It's gonna, it's not gonna work. It's gonna hit the ground. So we're gonna to wanna to bring the whole mechanism up. And we're gonna to wanna to put this just like this. Perfect. Take this gear, put this gear on here. We're gonna take our last axle and this small gear. Stick it on like that with space on both sides. Pop it right through here. Boom. Perfect. Now, we're gonna take this other piece, because this, otherwise this will be a little wobbly. We don't want it to be wobbly. We want it to be a little secure. Put that like that. Why don't we put this on top of something? Let's take two of these pieces here. There. Now it's looking like a machine, right? Now it's looking good. Let's put a little flare on, huh? Maybe some pieces that don't necessarily do anything, but make it look cool. There we go. Now that's looking good. Pretty cool. Oh boy, let's see. Now that that's not too wobbly, but this, oh boy. That's too wobbly for a display, right? I don't think that's gonna work. Let's try to make that a little stronger, shall we? Let's take a couple more pieces, add them here, and take two of these, one, Two. and we'll take that one right there and now 
we're gonna take one of these. We're gonna put this right on top. Doesn't really matter if it's hanging over, that's fine. I don't have too many of these pieces, so we'll make do with what we have. We've got that going. Now, let's take this and we're gonna put this here, right? And now we've got these studs. On the top of Legos, we have these things called studs. That's what they're called. And they clip into other Legos, right? But we wanna put a Lego minifigure on this axle, right? Well, how do we do that? The key can't just go on the axle. So we have to put studs on the axle. So now we have studs on the axle, but we can't have them pointing this way because that just looks like a display of someone sleeping and being spun. And that's not cool, I don't like that. Let's make it cool. So we're gonna take this piece. We're gonna pop it right there. Now that's looking like something. Now we're gonna put this piece. Let's see if I can, there we go. Ah, oh, that looks good. What do we think? It looks pretty good. I think we could do a little better. Besides, I still have all these pieces left. Let's see. Well, since Benny's a spaceman, why don't we give him a rocket ship? So let's make a small rocket that Benny can go on. Let's see here. Take one of these. Take one of these. Let's get his mask on. Oh, his helmet rather. Let's give, make him into a space flying pose, right? Perfect. All right, we could just put this right on top, right? No, that's, that's okay. That's all right, but we still have pieces. Oh, I know, why don't we make it? like a rocket flame. I've got all these cool colors too. So why don't we blend these colors together? Right? And we'll blend these colors together like a rocket's thruster. Let's see here. This is gonna take a while, but that's okay. Okay, let's see here. Boom. Cool. Oh, but we still have pieces. Oh, wait a minute. That could be like the smoke at the bottom of the rocket, right? Billowing out. What if we put these here? Now, I don't have a whole lot of these pieces, so we'll have to make do. We can always make do, right? We'll look, we'll just do something that sort of looks like it. Let's see here. Yeah, that could work, right? That could work a little bit. If I spin it fast, maybe you won't even notice that that piece is different. Let's put these on here. A little more depth to it. Let's see here. I'll put Benny on top. And now, we've got Benny's display. And the cool thing with doing these small things, these small little studs pieces, is that you can sort of, ang you can get away with angling them a bit to even create more of the illusion that he's flying, right? See how I've tilted it a little bit? Well, I say that that is a good display for Ben. Well, maybe we won't bend it that much, huh? Let's get him back on. There we go. Now that's a good display. Well, guys, if you liked my simple Lego machine little videos here, 
Uh, keep on the lookout. We're going to have a Lego Technic building program sometime down the line where you guys can learn how to build simple Lego machines too. Um, all right, this is Mr. Adams signing off with the Hoboken Public Library. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.